What's going on, guys? Your boy, Way Waters, Way Supreme. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I did a video earlier today about the Air Jordan Travis Scott 1 lows, and I said that they would drop, and they did drop. And, uh, I mean, it wasn't the... It wasn't the smoothest drop, but it definitely wasn't one of the worst drops. I actually cooked. I cooked the size 9. I cannot believe it. Uh, manual, of course, because E-Value was a shit show. And, uh, I mean, all bots were basically a shit show. I heard Soul AIO was the best one to cook. So, um, you know, that's that. And on Nike, on the uh, blog that they had, that they said that they were going to drop exclusively. The word was exclusively on Travis Scott. Uh, Travis Scott's website, but of course that wasn't true. If you refresh that page now, exclusively is gone. So it just says dropping on Travis Scott July 19th, which they already did. So that means that Nike sneakers will be getting them. They will have a drop. Um, I, oh yeah, another thing, I put the 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 early length for the Travis Scott one, but of course Travis Scott he he switched it. Not Travis Scott himself, but you know they switched the length at the last minute. So instead of uh, Air Jordan one dot travis scott dot com it was low air jordan one or air jordan one low it was either or i don't know which one it was but it was one of those but um this video right here is for the ghost sneaker setup for the travis scott low one first thing you want to do is you want to hit that sneakers button hold on one second let me go get my son all right uh, if you guys see one of my first videos, you've probably seen him. He was very small in that video. Now he is six months, and uh, he is just the cutest thing ever. Um, but first thing you want to do is you want to open up your Go Sneakers. You want to make sure that your locale is under the desired country, which, of course, is U.S. Now, once again, if this thing doesn't pop over, I keep pointing to the screen like I have my camera, but you guys can see everything now. So um, if this right here, what's highlighted, isn't popping up, if it says error effect, uh, effective, <laughs> fetching URL, then that means that the proxies that you do have in your settings is bad. You want to make sure that you got your proxies in your settings and your Nike accounts in your settings also before you do anything. That would be the first step. And then you want to, I'm not going to go under settings because all my information is under there and I do not want to show that. And then the second thing you want to do is you want to go into profiles, make sure all your billings in, make sure that that little tab at the top where it's just white, you want to, it looks like this, this tab right here, but it's just blank, right? You want to make sure you click US. Every little thing is what's going to make you take an L. So you want to just double check, make sure everything is good. You can put a random phone number if you're running out of phone numbers. The phone number doesn't matter. I suggest you guys sign up for privacy.com if you haven't already signed up. It's the best way to generate different types of uh, virtual debit cards and it's connected to the same bank. Um, that's a big plus because if you guys want multiple pairs, like a lot of pairs, or you guys have a lot of Nike accounts that you guys want entered, you need a different type of, uh, you need different amounts of credit debit cards and privacy gives you those virtual cards. That's the best way to do it because, you know, uh, Nike sneakers bot detection is that, is that like an all time high. And what it does is it sees how many times you entered the, uh, whether it's a raffle, whether it's just a straight out drop, they see how many times you've entered it and they connect the debit and credit card numbers. And if they see if it's the same debit credit card, they blank out all of those um, entries that you just entered. And guys, make sure you go manual. Manual is also one of the best ways to go, just like the Travis Scott one highs. Manual users cooked up. You want to make sure you always go manual. You don't always want to rely on a bot. Um, but let's just get right into the setup. Uh, I need the SKU number. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import the task that I've already made. Um, just to grab that SKU number real fast. You're going to click create task under URL SKU. You're going to put that uh, SKU number in. Just like I said, this little spot right here. You know, there's like a spot in between where my uh, where the indicator is showing. You want to make sure that that's all the way back. So you just want to keep hitting the backspace button to make sure there's no extra space. So if there is, it will screw up your cook and you will not be cooking. But the SKU number is SJ2586-101. And um, 
you want to click full size run. Now, I'm not too sure about the sizes, but so far I know that they're going to have an 8 through 12. I think they're going to have a 14. I don't think they're going to have a 13 and a half, uh, a 13. You know, I don't think they're going to have those sizes. So just to be safe, you're going to go 8 through 12, which is going to give you 10, I mean, nine accounts with the quantity. If you do one quantity, you're going to get nine Nike accounts under your tags. Now, you can do two if you have more Nike accounts. Say if you have, uh, say if you have 18 Nike accounts, you want to uh, click two. If you just want to get it all done in one shot, eight through 12, that's nine tags, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12. That's nine. So you have nine tags. Nine times two is 18. That would be all your tasks right there. Um, so you want to go eight through 12, whatever quantity you desire. If you just want to do one quantity, if you want to do two quantities, three, whatever you want, it depends on how many Nike accounts you have. Then you're going to click your desired profile, which is your billing, whatever the case may be. And then you're, what I do is I click Nike sneakers app since it's the SKU. Uh, sometimes if you click the desktop Nike and you have the SKU in, they'll switch it and it would enter a different shoe. Or even if you have the link here, it won't be the uh, shoe that you're desiring or whatever, which is the Travis Scott one Lowe's. Um, now, this is important right here. This is basically the most important thing in the video. Um, if you live in a house, what you want to do is you want to toggle all three of these on right here. You want to make sure random name, random apartment, and random phone is on. Random name, it just for, you know, who's buying the shoe, it just gives you a random name. Even if you do live in an apartment, I would keep that clicked on. Um, of course, random apartment, it just adds a suite number or an apartment number at the end of your house address. So if you live at 121 Way Water Lane, uh, it'll be 121 Waywater Lane Suite 1. And then, you know, say if you got another pair, 121 Waywater Lane Suite 2. Now, uh, let me just go. Random phone is, it just gives you a phone number. Whether you have, it, it, whether you're in an apartment or a complex, it does not matter. I would keep random name and random phone on. Um, even if you guys are in an apartment, I would, I would take that risk and put random apartment on. And just call UPS when they start to ship or whatever. What's wrong? Okay. Go back in your room, baby. I'll, I'll get it for you. Okay, I'll get it. Go. My son, I'm telling you, man, daddy duties on deck. Um, so, yeah, I would still keep random apartment on. And I will, uh, what I'll do is I would just um, call UPS, like I said. So once everything is in, once your SKU is in, your full size is in, your quantity is in, your your billing address is in, make sure it's under the sneakers app. Well, that's what I suggest. It's up to you guys. Set your own risk. You're going to click create. Now, when you click create, you're going to start seeing your tags popping up here. You're going to see the profile. You're going to see the status. And I mean, that's basically, that's basically it, guys. You know, so make sure the SKU is in. Uh... You can even, if you don't want to do full size run, you want to do individual sizes, you can go 10 and a half, you know, and put the quantity. This is the actual quantity. If you want 50 entries of a 10 and a half, you can do that. Um, make sure your billings in, sneakers at, random name, random apartment, random phone. After you click create test, this is what pops up. Now, it takes a while to get cookies. So if I was you, if they don't show up on the Nike sneakers calendar tonight, what I would do if I was you guys is I would start it early, early, early in the morning. I'm going to start mine probably, if say if the release is at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm starting my release at 5 a.m., probably even longer. So you guys want to make sure that you guys have enough gigabytes, you know, proxy gigabytes to run. I have about 2 gigabytes, 1.86 gigabytes left, and I'm probably going to get more before the night is over. You know, if I don't see the Travis Scott popping up on the Nike sneakers account calendar uh, tonight, but basically I'm starting at 5 a.m. If the release is at 10 a.m. because it takes forever to generate cookies. So when you click, click play, it's going to say getting cookie, error getting cookie, trying to get cookie again. You see error getting cookie, and it's going to keep doing that for about a couple hours, but you let that run. Another thing that I did not say, if you go into settings and say if that they're not on the release for tonight, 
then you want to go click make sure that your shock drop is on and you want to make sure that uh, disable pre-carding is on and you know that this is complete when it says waiting for product that's under the shock drop mode and that's if you do not see the Nike Travis Scott ones on the sneaker app say if they just shock drop them you want to have that shock drop button on so if you wake up at five and they're still not on the Nike sneakers account app then make sure the shock drop is on before you start everything and you will know it's complete when this says waiting for product right now when they do pop up or say if it is a shock drop or a shock raffle it's going to say getting information for you know product and then this right the SKU is going to turn into the description which is going to say uh, you know Nike Air Jordan Travis Scott one loads that's how you know that your proxies are working and your bot is working um, this is just a brief video. I have so many go set up videos under my account. So if you guys check out that, you know, I mean, it's it's basically the same method for every setup. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Way Supreme or Twitter at Let Me Let Me Draw the Boat. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I am out.